Hello everybody from an unusually sunny Asturias today. Uh, I hope you're well, as well as we all can be in, in what are incredibly difficult and, and trying circumstances. Of course, what does happen when these crises arrive is that we're obliged to, to look at other ways of doing things and uh, that's partly why we're doing these OUP videos for you now. Uh, I would like to, in my little contribution, look at another way of doing something which is possibly not done enough in normal classes and probably will get pushed completely to one side once we move to online teaching. Um, I'm talking about pronunciation and those of you that already know me won't be surprised that this is what I want to talk about now in this short video. The thing is, as I suggested, we don't do a whole bunch of work on pronunciation in classes. We're always rushed to get to the end of the unit and pushed for time and there's so much in the syllabus. And it would be very easy, now that we're having to work online with our students, to actually allow pronunciation to be pushed even further into a corner. But actually, that's not really necessary. In fact, this is a great opportunity to give pronunciation the value that it deserves. Uh, in my own case, my students one day said to me, we don't really pay as much attention to pronunciation as you would like us to because there's no mark. And that was a problem for me because uh, where I was teaching, if you wanted a mark for oral performance, there had to be three people in the tribunal. Or the oral production had to be recorded and the recording kept for two years. And that's when the light bulb went on. And I thought, my students can record their pronunciation. They give me the cassette, I give it a mark, and I keep the cassettes for two years. And this is what we did. So that was really complicated because I was working with physical cassettes and I had to store them and it was really rather tedious. But of course today, everybody can get hold of one of these or they've got a microphone in their own computer, the one that they're working with you uh, from at this very moment. So why not, as you're doing your job and teaching them, different aspects of English, why not give your students a little bit of pronunciation homework as well? And the easiest way to do this is as you get to the end of a unit in your course book, just run your eye through the unit to see if there are any problem sounds or problem features which could be word stress or it could even be something like sentence stress. But look through the unit and see if there's anything that naturally requires your students' attention in terms of pronunciation. So let's just assume that it's a, a sound, a consonant or a vowel of English, and it occurs quite a few times in that unit. Okay, so go to the list of vocabulary for the unit and get your students to actually make a recording of, let's say, six words which you've chosen because they represent the sound which is problematic and you want them to practice. So that is six individual words. And then why not get your students to choose four of those words and to incorporate them into sentences so that we now have 